Hi, my name is Jimmy and welcome to Lock Lab. Today I'm going to be building the open source theremin as a birthday gift for my nieces. At the time of this recording, they were all out of stock online, so uh, I'm planning to build it from scratch. My plan is to download all the plans, the bombs, and order all the parts and put it together myself. So the vendor that I'm using for the PCB is JLC PCB and I'm going to order the parts off of Mauser. Now, if you don't know what a theremin is, it's a electronic instrument that makes really cool noises. I ordered 5 PCBs from JLC PCB because that was the minimum order, but it only came out to be $13, including shipping, which is really cheap. Since I only plan to build 2 of these, my order from Mauser is about $75. There's 35 line items on this, so I got hours of soldering ahead of me. I better get started. The next part of this project is to build the antennas. Now there's also an online kit for this, but uh, since I'm ordering all the parts myself, uh, I went to the hardware store and bought this one quarter inch copper coil. Uh, the original plans already uh, use six millimeter aluminum tube, but this is pretty close, so I'm gonna try my best with this. Step is to program the Arduino using the Open Theremin code. So I have the Arduino mounted to the Open Theremin board, and I wanted to show you this metal bracket that I basically improvised from scrap metal parts. And this is to mount a small little tripod so this can stand on its own. Like Extra pulley wheel I had and mount this to the antenna. And then mount, mount it to the board. So this will prevent it from pivoting downwards. Here it is. All right, I have it all connected and it's time to play. The USB cable is providing power. This audio cable is going to a Bluetooth speaker. And I also added a test lead to ground the theremin to earth ground. It goes to the earth port of the um, mains outlet. So let's see what it sounds like. 
I think it's in Bluetooth mode, so I just had to switch it to auxiliary mode. I think I need to calibrate it because uh, the first thing you do is um, it's supposed to um, press the calibration button so the theremin knows its environment. So I think to do that, you, you hold this button here for two seconds. And then it should start blinking. That's a little better. So this is the pitch antenna. This is the volume, so the closer I get, the quieter it gets. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so these knobs, uh, I believe, control the sensitivity. So right is very sensitive. And if I move it all the way left, it's... I can move my hand further before the, the pitch changes. I think the bottom left also changes the, uh, the sound. I think there are three sounds. This also changes the tone or timbre. I think it'll take a lot of practice before I'm able to play anything. This is really hard to play, but it's very fun. <laughs>